Sorry, you know that picture, that? TJ, from last night? <laughs> no, good. What, what was that from? Okay, uh, we were- so every week on the Bracket Podcast, it's just turned into the Che Show. We learn so much. You unpeel the onion. Tidbits about him. Um, I don't even, should we spoil some? He, last week he asked if there was an Adam Schefter for world news. <laughs> we were like, that's just the news. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he said, well, like, who breaks it? The news. <laughs> yeah, it's, you think there's an insider that's like. I don't know. I, it's think that feeding, a, I think it's a realistic question. Well, but the Adam Schefter, he gets information because he just basically does everyone's, he carries everyone's water and then agents give him information. Correct. Do you think that would be like. Oh, you're, you're carrying information for India, and then someone in India, the agent for India is going to gonna hit you up and be like, hey, the bomb just went off. Yeah, Shams has to, like, butter up the terrorists. Right. Well, yeah. Get a little that, tidbit. To get when they're going to attack again. And so <laughs> he found so, out what we were Well, on the yesterday he found War. out about Ukraine. Yes. That it exists. Yes. And I knew it existed. I didn't know what was going on there. I knew that it was trending at some points. And uh, it went by. Yeah, it did go viral. Yeah, it went viral here. And, uh, Ukraine's been getting numbies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the hottest new podcast, Ukraine. Finding out about Ukraine because it's trending. Right, right, right. You got a lot of white privilege for an Asian guy. You do. <laughs> you do. You know, it's insane. He's the biggest xenophobe I've ever met. <laughs> no, no. Oh, so also, his- but that, that was that was in a side chat that was for, I forget what we were talking about. I mean, we just talked about Ukraine. But then the producer Gooch just in the sat in the chat that nobody sees but us five, just said Chris Broussard tweeted that Ukraine has been invaded. So I went to Chris Broussard's timeline, and I assumed that he deleted it, and maybe it wasn't true. But I guess it was just a. Oh, you think his sources time. were wrong? So he's like, I'm going to delete this real quick. No, but I was saying like it's not crazy that Chris Broussard would tweet that. Because no, it would be. To be the first one to, to, to be the one to break it, it. that is one hundred percent crazy. If Chris well, Broussard broke Broussard World breaks World the III. news <laughs> about World War Three, that is absolutely insane. My example is like Schefter tweets about basketball sometimes, so it's <laughs> this is <laughs> sport. <laughs> still a sport. <laughs> Schefter should start breaking like world news with like those graphics. Would you be does. surprised if it happened? Yes. I, I, no. He would yes, be the yes, first. Yes. 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 I mean, there are Absolutely there are first. guys that would break it before them. Yes. Yes. But yes. you think if Schefter had it first, he's not going he out with it? He wouldn't have it. It's possible have for it him first. to have it first. <laughs> Unless a, a football agent had this it, he wouldn't have War it. This is World War III. How would Chris Glo- Broussard know about the invasion of Ukraine before anybody else? Sources, dude. Sources, man. You. This is actually, it's not a Stephen doesn't pay attention to attention to geopolitics it's steven holds adam schefter in such an insanely high regard <laughs> and it's like yeah, sickening he holds american sports to the same level of like right like his significance as the one of the biggest global conflicts in a in a decade right like steven's Correct. steven's lack of knowledge about ukraine i think is actually kind of average most people probably don't know what's going on i oh, consider okay. myself one of those people like i know i'm aware of something i haven't done my reading yet i'm aware of something the Schefter piece here is just, it's stunning. You think that Schefter, do you think Schefter is like plugged into like a portal that has all, well, all the, the NFL, information? Well, he gets like the NFL wire, yeah, but then he also has sources, and I would be surprised if those sources didn't go outside of football. How do you think these sources work? Explain that to me. What would his source be? Like Putin? Putin's, Putin's agent. Putin's, like, Putin's, Putin's rep by uh, uh, WME. You don't think Putin's agent probably reps no, him like no, that? I, I need you. I, I need to know if you if you believe what you're saying right now. Yes, definitely. He does. He does. Oh my god! <laughs> you're Putin's- out of your mind if you think Schefter is not going out with a story with a tweet like that. If he has it, how would he get it? That's so we're saying. It. How would he ever get it? That's the part. This is where I think you guys are underestimating. No. People in Schefter Eastern and Europe and don't Lord. know who he this is. This is the part where it's <laughs> like insane differ. that you actually oh. think. Like, what do you think? How do you think Adam Schefter gets his news? Dude, the NFL Germany games sell out in like minutes. You don't think that? Oh my god, that's <laughs> still sports. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a- close enough. <laughs> Steven. Steven, as I want you to explain to me. Has has Tucker Carlson ever broken a college basketball coaching carousel? Not that I'm aware of. I I don't really follow. I know that Dave's on his show once in a while. The person who would break the news would be like the president. Right. Who's saying we're going to go attack. Yes, but 
Do you think that would the president is the first, first person receiving that news? We turned Steven's mic yes. down a little bit. Not not because he's annoying. Is my mic even on? This. I feel like I'm screaming into my mic. And yeah. I can't His mic it. is just a little loud. Wait, say that question again. But do you think the president is the first person to get that information? No. He's yes. the one who... He's in front of Adam Schefter. ...makes the decision. Do you think it's like, Chris Broussard? If Russia no, invades Ukraine... Broussard's probably a bad example, but like Schefter... Like I'm, I'm assuming people are giving this news to the president. No, 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 White House sources get this all the time. Okay, so, 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 Che, so, Che, like they, like Russia is going to invade Ukraine, Putin sits there and he's like, okay, I got to tell... The president of the United States. No, no, no. It's the other way around. Russia yeah. invades Ukraine, and then like a bunch of Russian dudes are like, we should probably tell Putin. Yeah. No, 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 no. In, <laughs> Steven, in Steven's head, Russia and would Putin's ask, like, we should probably ask tell Schefter Jeff. for permission to invade Ukraine. Schefter so, would give the green light. Here, here's a good decides example. decides if he wants to invade. And then Schefter's like, give me 10 minutes. It's not going to be a good example. It. I just it want is. everyone to know. <laughs> okay, we got a good example. This will not be a good example. That example. Because... A, a similar example is like you know when the the draft happens, like Roger Goodell will announce the picks, but a ton of times there's leaks. It's and not still similar. comparing sports to sports. It's not making the pick. I'm saying that okay, the GM of the Bucks, Jameis one of one. All right, <laughs> that guy, he makes the pick. Yeah, he's the one who creates the pick. Yes, that's what Putin's doing with war. He creates the war. Hey, there's been a lot of things that have happened. Like, like find, just find one example of like Schefter breaking some very, Dude, he very breaks basketball large. stuff all the You're time. You're still comparing sports hey, to sports. Hey, this, this, is, is, a crazy. War. this is crazy. Global war. There's shams. Oh, shams, you motherfucker. <laughs> okay. See? Hey, was he the first? See? Right, yeah, he's, he's the, the first. first. Yeah, he's not the first. <laughs> there's no way shams got that first. He was just fucking getting that sweet, right. that sweet so, Trump suck. This is yeah. World War Three. Even then, you ha- we're talking about like go back to like about nine the eleven. That's not sports. See, these guys would do it. There's no way Shams was the first there. <laughs> he was. He may have been. No way. Oh my god. We gotta do the wet wheel. We gotta take a pause. Yeah, we are. We're gonna break all of our brains. I live in a flood zone. Why? Oh. Nice house. Big get a better deal. Yeah, but it's gonna flood. You got a musty ass basement. Uh, uh, I eh, kind of. Mm. No, I mean it's a finished basement. It's it is a little bit musty though. We don't go to that. What body of water much. are you near? Uh, the Rawway River. The Ra- How often does the Rawway River, <laughs> river flood? Uh, what is it did it? have a very bad flood in Irene. Did I guess they that make was. that river name to make it sound like you're three saying it. The Rawway River. <laughs> Rawway. <laughs> R A H W A Y. Jersey has some dumbass. T- Rawway, Mawa. A lot, of, a lot of bad names. <laughs> yeah, it's like Ma-wa. who named all these things? Oh, yeah, we, old? There's I'm like a. Uh, that was like what they classify as like a 100 year flood. Like will happen about once every hundred. And when years. was the last time it happened? Like 99 years ago. I think. Oh. So yeah, I feel pretty good. Jay's back. Uh, uh, che, how's the basement? Uh, destroyed. We got it uh, demoed yesterday. So it's you just demoed place. your basement. How's the rest of the house? Yeah, does the what's uh, what happens? I mean, it's uh, <laughs> it doesn't, it's doesn't still the, standing. The rest like falls <laughs> with it. <laughs> no, it's, they ripped out all the walls and stuff like that. But yeah, walls to the ceiling. But what what gone. material? What possessions of yours were destroyed? Ping pong table. Papa, oh, Papa shot. Uh, I'm sorry, brother. Some recliners. wait. Was it a finished basement? Technically, yes. It wasn't like we didn't have a like, carpet and stuff like that. But you know, well, that so, sounds like it was your space. Mm-hmm. It was, we had some like cool stuff. The Papa shot was in the den. Um, but yeah, are your kiddos old enough to understand the gravity of the situation? No, where no, they weren't impacted, no. they don't miss the basement. No, I mean I showed my son like the water, and he like looked at it, but like wow. he did some. There were know. some questions about whether you were bragging about living in a flood zone a couple of months back. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, there is. A, it wasn't um, that long ago. It was when Frank ate forty nine and a half. <laughs> yep. I, the number sixteen is what I'm calling the Stephen Shea play in. Because he gave me four fucking absurd options <laughs> that are so, so we- goddamn crazy that I just needed to put them yeah. in. Option one, the shape of a fishing rod fighting a fish. All right. <laughs> I thought I thought it was uh, like a curve, like circular. Like it's, that's, it's that's my one seed. Like. I don't know how that didn't make the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that's a pretty good one. Shade, Shade, do you like fishing? Not particularly, <laughs> but I mean, if you have. <laughs> what what is the circle here? It's a it's a half circle. If you got a if you got a fish on the line, it's fighting. Wait, it's a half circle. Circle? You referenced a semicircle earlier. 
<laughs> he doesn't know what a circle I, is. I thought I thought we were going circular round things. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a half about circle. The tension in the fishing. Wait, wait. So you arch? you chose things that yes, weren't the arch. circles. You chose <laughs> semicircles. <laughs> It's not a yeah, connecting I, I, circle. I, I chose some half circles. He's like, I like the. the I guess if you combine black okay. and white cookies, so, just the white side. There are so many circles out there. <laughs> there are so many circles. It only the gets worse. Can be a full circle. Now, now I, now I'm realizing all of my nominations were incorrect. <laughs> it's gonna get worse. It got circular wrong. The next one. Is that a second option is dog's bellies for petting. <laughs> Which has no, it has no discernible shape. Oh, I mean. <laughs> what do you dog's mean? bellies for petting. Yeah, it's round. Well, nice little, circular, little circular, long and round. narrow. Why does it know what a circle is? <laughs> 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 Again, we're not done yet. Still a pet. The catching of a fish is is I can't get past that. That doesn't even make close to us. I almost asked for that to be a one seed. What are you oh, but you don't even like fishing, Steve. How Those many dogs like... do you have? None. <laughs> <laughs> Never even seen one. Oh, so I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the next one is cat's cat spines when you curl they curl up to pet you <laughs> when they do cat's pose nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> circular it's arched men are either good at bowling or know how to eat pussy these are mutually exclusive there you go so you know how to eat pussy? Like how dare they talk about yeah, Carl what like the that? Fuck? What yeah. the fuck? I know my boy Carl munches box, bro. What the fuck? The thighs are the bumpers of the pussy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's also just not true. I feel like I'm good at bowling and good at that. I watched a what? tutorial video about it several years uh, ago. About eating pussy? Yep. <laughs> Wait, no. That was American Pie 2, you What watched. was the tutorial video? <laughs> no. Yeah, I did. Don't. What was, what was no, the tutorial video? Real. You don't Bring it up. Che, why you are you don't doing learn this? It's the Seinfeld episode where they talked about the movie. No, you was watched a, a tutorial you, you, on eating pussy, Steven? Why would you not? Did you search it or did it just pop up? Yeah, I know exactly what it told you. It told you to make out with the pussy instead of licking it. Nope. It was a pretty long tutorial. It was good. Changed my life. Oh, Give us a couple no, of tips. Steven. You changed your wife, you said? <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, so it's just better for you. <laughs> I mean, better for everybody. Um, what, uh, what, what, <laughs> where did you find the video? <laughs> was it on YouTube? <laughs> Is it something the we can watch right now? No, it was, an, it was an adult site. It was an adult. Oh, so they actually had a pussy there. Oh, yeah. Well, that was just a porn. You watched a that porn. That was an actual that. tutorial. That was just a porn said. <laughs> yes. Eating pussy Steve, tutorial. Steven thought yeah, I've been watching this fuck tutorial. It's yeah. It's one of giant too. dick. Yeah. Steven. No, it was instructional. Won. He's always been looking at porn being like, oh, well, that's. I, no, that's actually, I've tutorial. learned that. Face doing film work. <laughs> actually, from this. Exactly. From this tutorial, I learned that a lot of the. Sensation. Um, a lot of the scenes where porn stars will eat pussy is actually incorrect. What they call it is uh, painting the fence because they do it with the tongue, but it's better for the camera. <laughs> Worse for the woman. I'm very, very uncomfortable. So, <laughs> I am too, but I need to know more. <laughs> All right. Check. So, painting the fence is what? It's uh, just like kind of elongating your tongue and just like oh, Jesus stroking. Christ. Stroking the, well, no, no, I, the lips. I, you're up on the screen, so give and us that's a visual. We need to, yeah, to see it visually. So, like, I mean, it's the, mo it? the most common. Like your tongue's fully out? Yeah. Do it on Zaz's ass. <laughs> the, the tongue. The tongue. The tongue. The tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Lick> his ass. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So that's painting that's, the okay. fence. That's painting that's, the fence. That's how you're not supposed to do it. Yeah, who, who that's thinks how you're not that's, supposed, but that's the right way? That's how they way. do it in adult films a lot because visually, um, so visually, like that looks better. So and did you uh, get hurt? what you're supposed to actually do is well, yeah. What are you supposed to actually do? You're supposed to get right in there. You're supposed to use your bottom lip as a buffer after the tongue. Get right in where? As a buffer. Or as like uh, yeah, as, TJ, as, the, show us, TJ. as the as the caboose. 
Oh, that's the buffer? Caboose? Where should the tip of your tongue be? Where's a train coming as from? As deep as you can get it, my friend. It's deep? It's deep? Wait, no, what? It's more, it's more of a... No, sorry. I, I, I didn't phrase it right. It's more of a <laughs> flat right. tongue. Take your flat tongue meant to yeah, go I up. I, I, and then the, the bottom lip. I mean, hey, if you guys aren't doing this, that's your own problem. Wait, what? I didn't... If you guys, I, I mean, you are penetrating the pussy with. We're your about tongue? to bridge the fucking revenue gap with this alone. <laughs> <laughs> Call her daddy, featuring Stephen J. Do you guys just like instantly know how to do it correctly and do it well? Yes, Primally. I was born eating pussy. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> that's, that's actually, actually true. true. That's I was true. Could be true. <laughs> it's I was, true. I was that's actually a, a C-section baby, so I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, wait, because yeah. you were a C-section, that means you had a tutorial how to eat pussy? <laughs> yeah. is, that, is that the you correlation? Yeah, he wasn't born doing it. <laughs> no, I, I... Oh, here we go. Orientation lock off. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Mm -hmm. Hey! hey. hey. No. Look who did technology. How many employees does it take to get portrait lock off an iPhone? Incredible work. <laughs> Um, you also just taught me how to find the flashlight. I never knew how to find the flashlight. I haven't no found way. it. No way. a flashlight. You do you have a separate app for your flat for a flashlight? Yeah, and it, it plays ads on volume. <laughs> it's very annoying. <laughs> He's using the flashlight app with ads. Wait, is it just the one your screen? Is it your screen white? Oh. Yeah, is it the one? Yeah. That makes you yeah. The only, <laughs> the only man truly really born in the wrong generation. <laughs> <laughs> That app is You work for Amazon before me on multiple occasions. <laughs> yeah. I use it every single Several, day. Several, yeah, every day. It's a common I meme that it. it had to use to be I an app need in like 2008. Wait, did you know about it swiping the top right of your phone? A lot. I did. I did not. I did not know that. Okay, on a Friday night, do you have? How do you turn your Wi-Fi and from the beer app on your iPod Touch? <laughs> uh, wait, what? I, I turn my Wi-Fi on like how I know do you turn your Wi-Fi on? Through settings. It has to be through settings. Settings. Yeah. Is there another way to turn your Wi-Fi on? The yeah, that aim that drop right. <laughs> what about brightness? Yeah, your brightness, your <laughs> the volume. The brightness of your phone. All of Are you under the impression brightness is automatic? Hey, look right here. You see all this stuff? There's so many options you need to go look through. You can add stuff to it, too. Yeah, you can add more. I have the base set. It's so kind of like a base from from that, bitch. Wait, you guys don't use settings for those things? No, no we use no, the command center. That same thing down. you were just on. Oh, it? man. There's Has no your phone mode? never been off of orientation lock? <laughs> I've never touched it, so probably not. I got a story I want to tell you guys real quick. The mind of Stephen Che. Oh, boy. So trivia is going on. No spoilers. Uh, trivia is going on, so the office is buzzing. Everyone's here. Um, and the Yak group text, Roan, myself, and Yak trivia, sorry. Yak trivia group text, Roan, myself, and Stephen Che. We've been just, you know, pumping each other up, talking each other up. Prepping. So Stephen shared a moment uh, that he would like that I would like to share with you guys. Um, text he just sent us. He sent us a text. No, he sent Ron and I a text this morning. He's is this what the video he just sent? No, no, no. Oh. He was um, studying old one thousand yard receivers. Most you know, very common thing on a Monday morning. Sure. Yeah, sure. I mean, we have sure. And he said to us, "I just want to read this, and you guys can react." A moment I'll never forget from 2005 is my buddy and I going to Barnes & Noble uh, to buy a fantasy magazine, and one outlet had Drew Bennett on the cover and touted him as wide receiver one for the next year. May have been the hardest I laughed that decade. Legitimate <laughs> 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 that was his number one moment of the decade. <laughs> well, was Drew Bennett moment being, was being in a Barnes and Noble. Explain. Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't get this. What is the humor? Drew Bennett was never a wide receiver one. So for them to say that, he was like a tall white receiver who had like four really good games at the end of two thousand four. I guess. Yeah. I need, who do you play for? The Cowboys. Titans. The Titans. hardest he's laughed that decade. I was crying I in a fully. Barnes and Noble. A decade full of comedy. Standing in the Barnes and Noble laughing out loud. You remember out tears. At the magazine. Tears. <laughs> yes. Can we That's get so like a top funny. five laughs each decade? I'll have to come up with that. Like what would two be in the, in that decade? Is there a two? Was it a comedy moment, like a movie, or be about Sean? I Green. did laugh really hard at the the Jim and Pam wedding when they came out at the <laughs> the the Chris Brown song. <laughs> That's not a funny part. It wasn't even that funny. <laughs> what? Yeah, it was because that was such a was viral. A that was like a viral thing at the time, and they were making fun of it. The virality is. <laughs> what was, planet was really are you funny. from? 
That was a universally. What? That's a not new from. It's not a top hundred funny moment on The Office. Wait, no, but when you're watching it live and that is like a thing, it was topical for that <laughs> moment. So yeah, if you watch it now, it's like all right, whatever. But if you're watching it in the moment, you just couldn't get over how topical. That bring you to he just laughs at the news, <laughs> cracks up. This, news this is, is happening. Topical. <laughs> Damn. The who Drew has, Bennett thing was egregious, though. I mean, who it was, has a, that very, is funny. Very funny. Who has best laugh of the decade? Was your, your uh, mind? Your fr- you said you were th- your friend. Yeah. Is he also laughing? Y- like, we were both, like, actually crying laughing. It was so funny. And do you remember, like, if you had to rank funniest moments of that decade, would that, would that register? That would be, like, not even in my top 100. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> oh, no! Hey, that's mortifying. I laughed really hard, but that's not a me- it wasn't that memorable. It was Che's <laughs> number fun. one moment of yeah, that decade. decade. Let's have him. Let's actually get Stephen up here. Stephen Che said, because we'll do the first wheel. Stephen Che said that Bruce Valanche is a top five A-list. celebrity, A-list, A-list celebrity. celebrity. Right. Bruce Valanche. From Hollywood and, Square. Know and no Valanche. one knows who Bruce Valanche oh, is. Show him on the screen, TJ. It's, it's I, insane. I have bad news. I think that Stephen Che is... Rolling. Uh, no, no way. I think that the machine the man has gained. Can't troll. No. Not that, that was that was the appropriate response. <laughs> the man can't troll. Dude, I think that the machine is is gaining uh, intelligence, and I think that he's. I think we're being trolled by Stephen Che. I said he's one of the top five most recognizable people in Hollywood. That's because he's that's always insane. Because well, he, he looks fucked up. That's what you're saying. Even that though is that's, that's not even part true. Of it. That's not even true. Round of applause. Who knows who Bruce Valanche is? We got the Bruce oh, Valanche yes. table. <laughs> a whole table. That, that's his immediate family. An entire table of Bruce Valanche stands. Is that a picture of Bruce Valanche? He looks Jeez. like Joey Molinaro. Ate Joey Molinaro. Oh, we geez. don't say he's not in the funny. He doesn't work with us. Dude, bro. Wait, also, what kind of roast joke was that? <laughs> what kind of like 2015 <laughs> roast joke was that? Did you write that before yeah. this What show? type of Jimmy Carr shit you're was on, that? Yeah, you were on your Hasselhoff shit there. Uh, get, no, but he's the guy you walk by and you're like, whoa, shit. That's... Yo! <laughs> che, have you ever been in court? I have. I got called. <laughs> I got. I got called in for jury duty maybe like a year ago, and I. Uh, it was a. It was a case about. Um, Vehicular a, manslaughter. Uh, it was a case with like a woman that got hit by a car, and I said that I couldn't do it because I had a friend, <laughs> a coworker that was hit by a car. <laughs> so I wow. Could are you talking about Liam? Do you use Liz to get out or of Lee, your... Or Liam. Did you use Liz? Yeah. yeah I did. Oh, Does she know that? Uh, definitely you, like, not. Clean, like trauma from it? You couldn't be around <laughs> Or like your, bi- just, your, your bias because you saw I just, like... I just, I just, I bias. Like, it, was when, it was when she was doing um, whatever the serious show was right before the yak. And so I'd pass her every day and she was on crutches and I felt bad. Thank you so. like, what was the actual excuse? That I couldn't, I couldn't be uh, unbiased because I had uh, a, co- a coworker that was. Nobody's uh, ever pro car, and when somebody <laughs> hit my car, did you mean it? I don't think okay. I'm going to legally. Uh, I'll plead the fifth on that one. No, you were inconsolable after Liz got walloped by that Durango. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely pulverized by that dog. He was in tears. Could you can't come into work today, Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone else has got to run the show. I have a, a very quick story about putt putt. Actually, yeah. I think you guys would enjoy. All right, it. buckle mm-hmm. up. Goes the first. Does anyone hour. have a long yeah. story about putt putt? <laughs> Does anyone ever? Have? We'll make it this long. <laughs> so, um, uh, Long Beach Island, New Jersey, is a popular downtown or Jersey Shore place, and uh, my grandma lives somewhat near there. Uh, my Wait, par- it's Long Beach? Long Beach Island, New Jersey. Island, okay. So there's this uh, mini golf course there. There are a few, but there's one that's, that's called the Sand Trap. Slow down. So um, there was always a sign there growing up that I would see that said Tuesdays they had a tournament. But I was never up there during the week, so I was unable to do it. I get the opportunity to play when I'm 19 years old. My parents get a house there for the week. I go, I play in this tournament. In this, t- it was, did you have to pay for it? <laughs> I love this. Yeah, it's like five, it's whatever the cost of an, a, a round is. It's like five, it's like Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. And you're pumped up. Oh, you're I'm, like, oh, I'm oh, pumped damn up. It. Right, okay. I've, right. I've been waiting my whole life to play in this tournament. <laughs> okay, I get there and they put you, I, and this is at a mini golf this course. Is like yeah, this is good. So, all right. I get, good. I get put in a, a foursome with two 10 year old twins. I'm. <laughs> All right, 19? all right. I'm 19. Oh, I'm, I'm huge. In. I'm I'm six. You're six huge. Two, six two six three. Forty time. 
Uh, not a uh, 19 years old. I mean, yeah, mid fours. <laughs> <laughs> So wide, wide receiver like three yeah. in the NFL somewhere yeah. around there. You're, yeah. So wide receiver three in the NFL playing putt putt with te- two twin ten year olds. Wow. Yeah. So, Forty five seconds left. Yeah. So I play the round of my life. <laughs> okay. I, I fall apart on seventeen, so I get a forty one through eighteen holes. I was averaging. I was going to get like a just over a two per hole. Okay. So I go to a playoff. How do you fall apart on hole? What did you get? It was difficult. I couldn't get around this one rock. <laughs> Yeah, so, rock or boulder, ro- or even was rock. It, you know, a stone, maybe, maybe a stone. <laughs> okay. It'd be easy to get around a rock. <laughs> it, it was a difficult hole. I felt, but I lost my composure. I threw my club on the ground. <laughs> I love this. It's bad. Wait, you with so the ten year old? Yeah, yeah. How the nineteen year old Stephen Shea. He did better on me in that his hole. Composure with two twin ten year olds next to you. Yes, and there was probably like uh, an eleven or was twelve. Was clarified? Year old they were twin boys. Time out. Time yes. out. Time out. Yes. This is a real question. I need the answer to. Were you the oldest person in this tournament? By far. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, dawned on me. Uh, I was like, you two twin 10 year olds and 11 year olds. It's a youth you're event. The, yeah. the, I was, was the it? only person over six feet. There was like, <laughs> nobody was over like that's, five feet. That's fine. And, and you've all. been lusting for this tournament your My entire whole life. youth. <laughs> yeah. And finally, you're 19 years old and you're like, finally, I can go and Wait, win I, this I, tournament. Were you, were you the only pubes on the course? Uh, <laughs> Maybe a couple. Yeah, pr- I mean, definitely the the only probably full, <laughs> yeah, full, full bush. set. Yeah. Full bush. <laughs> so definitely. So, oh, oh, I would pay so much for so like good. a So due to falling apart on 17, <laughs> I would have won going away. I go to a three-way playoff with two like 12-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> I Is underestimated this prize? story so yeah. much. No, Make no it we how, how have you yeah. been sitting on this story <laughs> forever? This, this is your nev- best story ever, ever, by far. Ever. We never talked about mini golf. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Right, <laughs> so, we, talked yeah, about, want... we never talked about egging on Halloween <laughs> either. You you just went from playing with two 10 year olds to two 11 year olds. I, one was 12, the other kid must have been like 9 or 10. Is, oh my god, 9? What was the prize? Was young. Yeah, what's the prize? You get a very small trophy uh, like this, oh. but. Um, yeah, so the first, so the playoff is is uh you know you play till someone wins the hole, um and then I, I get pretty serious because I'm pretty pissed I fell apart in 17. I go full intimidation mode on this little kid. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> so I stand steady. One kid gets eliminated, so it's me versus another kid for the championship on two, and it's a windmill. Wait, did the kid cry when he got eliminated? Uh, maybe like pouted and like did a little. <laughs> I mean, did, did the kids ever complain that you were there? Did you flex uh, on him? <laughs> I don't think complain. One kid like asked how like big I was or how old I was. But... This is so Stephen Che that he so saves his Steve. greatest story for the last yak ever. I mean, like yeah. this is by far <laughs> the, is the best, best story yeah. you've ever had. So, all right, so you eliminate one of the were, eleven year olds. You were older than all the staff, the referees. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. no. The, the the guy taking tickets was probably like ninety years old. Oh, okay. okay. Good. Whew, thank God. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All right. So so you eliminated an eleven year old. Yep. We're on two. And there's who's left? It's. Uh, I think I eliminated the nine-year-olds. So okay, there's a, there's, it's, like an, it's like an eleven-year-old and like six, six foot three. Six foot you're three, nineteen. Six foot three. You keep saying we know you're, you're big. Yeah. Yes. nineteen years old. 19 you eliminated old. the nine-year-old. Nineteen and a half at this point. Yes. Um, what, I, yeah, I so, can't believe there was not a moment where you're like, "This is weird. I'm in college." Yeah. I mean, were you? I've been thinking about this tournament my whole life. <laughs> were you at the beach with other college-age kids or with your parents? Uh, with my parents. Okay. You were fucking. You were, you were in between your freshman and sophomore year in college. Yes. Oh. <laughs> they don't let nine year olds play in the Little League World Series. They're too young for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I, I forget. I forget how we decided, but I was the first one to go in the playoffs. So, second hole is the windmill. You just got to get straight through. Little crack. I get it through, and now we got this 11-year-old. I'm 6'3", 180. This you kid's, keep saying, you this, yes. you keep saying that. The this fact four, is you're four, 19. 4'4". Four, four. <laughs> this kid's 4'11", 90 pounds probably. Yep. And yep. I hit it through. He's, he's 11. I hit it yeah. through. I have a fairly makeable two-putt, and then I just sit at the tee, and I'm just staring at him as he hits, and he hits it right into the wall, like the the, the thing wall. I win. I get my trophy. Did you Did you celebrate? I did like a little pump. <laughs> was anyone watching? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. I mean, so many people have filtered out, but then nobody's like watching the end. Did they the just want to see the, their kids get eliminated and they bounce. Was there ever a moment where you're like, I'm way too old for this? 
as soon as I saw, as soon as I bought my ticket, I was like, are any other people coming? <laughs> follow up, follow up. Were, I, assume, I didn't know. I assume assume just said there were, tournament. I assume there were parents around. Did they have concerns? <laughs> there were parents. Um, Wait, did you drive yourself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely the only person that had a license. Oh, there my were, God. There were parents watching their kids. Yes. There had to have been. It's yes. at all ages. Okay, why ages. did you just not? You should have just left. You could have left. I already paid. He's been thinking about his whole entire life. I was, like, probably the first person there. I'm not kidding. I was waiting my whole life for this. It's his whole life to play in a fucking youth putt-putt tournament. Sass is in. Sass is under the competition. Call Ma. Jesus. All right. That, I mean, I don't know the if my bar is like low. I, can, I mean, I'll try. I really don't, <laughs> I really don't <laughs> want to. Yeah. So just c- concede the mile off. Nothing to gain. Everything to lose. Well, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> I yeah. convinced him. <laughs> he said nothing. Well, I have <laughs> everything to lose. And he's like, oh, perfect. I don't want to. My hands are tied. <laughs> I want to have my mom's voice out there for the fuck. Yeah, some right. sickos. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do it. Your mom have a real deep voice or something? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hey, Harry. Hey, Harry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Son, hello. Hey, mom. <laughs> Sass, if you had to make a decision and it was either. You would take your shirt off on the Yak Live. If you're gonna say or call my mom, obviously I'm gonna call. My or have mom. your mom take her shirt off live on that. Should you be wearing a bra? What? Hey, what the <laughs> what? F- what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh what the fuck? <laughs> hey, what is wrong with you? Outrageous <laughs> question. <laughs> Outrageous <laughs> question. <laughs> Trying to KFC Outrageous radio question. Well, I, just, I don't uh, see how far. I mean, I'm, most most people obviously would just say. I would take my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, you guys got a oh. flight. <laughs> All right. Update on the stolen vehicle. It was me, apparently. So my car has been repossessed. So the timeline as I see it, and I'll give some historical context about why I got to this place. So we got a new car in September, and uh, we purchased it. What kind of car? Toyota Sienna minivan. How many TVs flip down? Any bells and none, whistles? None. Uh, oh, what does that yeah, cost? Yeah, yeah. What does that cost? Space model? Uh, I mean, it's mid, mid, mid five figs. So Fig was bad. <laughs> whatever. So we didn't lease it. We purchased it. We put down a down payment on it. And then there's some type of you know monthly payment. But I paid a bunch of months up front just to ensure I, you know we'd be good. Wouldn't have to worry about it for a while. So in mid-December, I had a payment due. So I paid it. And what I thought I did... Was I scheduled auto payment? Can we pay? Can we pull up the tweet with the the language? This is this is a curb your enthusiasm episode. Oh, it's like yeah. Abbott and Costello. Yeah. So I see this. Successfully this is, scheduled your auto loan payment. <laughs> Correct. So this is December sixth. Okay. That's, and you, okay, and you you read this as auto automatic. Correct. Not automobile. <laughs> automobile. <laughs> which is, I which, mean, they could just attack. attack, attack <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Which that. is oh like God. in the English language, both are acceptable right. abbreviations. Automobile and automatic. I feel Auto like you would see that and be like, "That's uh, that's talking about the car." Oh no! That's the kind I mean, of loan I, it I, is. I, I yeah, thought, it's literally an automobile. It's describing the loan. loan. But an automatic could always, also be describing. It could right. be an automatic loan payment. It All could these, be the loan payment that's being modified from Steven's perspective. Okay, so last night I got my kids, parked the car. 6.48 p.m. We have confirmation that I locked the car in the driveway. That is the end of the night. We wake up the next morning, this morning. My wife looks out the window and goes, hey, where's our minivan? And immediately, like, uh, right in the driveway, like I put it every day. She's like, did you lock it? And I'm like, oh, God. <sighs> So there have been reports of car thefts at homes. It happens often in North Jersey. My yeah. grandma was a victim because twice. There's another, another downside of your house. Because there is a chip <laughs> yeah. shortage. So I'm like, oh, my God. And we have a security system. So I can like go back and see. But it didn't like trigger. So whoever, at, in, at this point in my mind, I'm like, okay, a professional guy <laughs> came in. And it's he, taking. Steven thought Fast and the Fin Diesel showed up. You think like minivan? No, it was Memphis Rain. <laughs> yeah. like, they, they, didn't, they didn't break the window. We would have heard that our bedroom is like close oh, yeah, enough to hear that. Oh, gone in sixty seconds, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And Nick like, Cage. Simply Safe didn't alert us that something had happened in the area. So I'm like, whoever did this was very slick. So your so, assumption was professional <laughs> thief, like a really good. Yeah. Oh thief. yes. So you yeah. thought your your mid level <laughs> minivan got targeted? <laughs> yes. so, yeah. Do we have the price on that, TJ? What was the year? 
2021. But wait, Stephen Shea, <laughs> you say you would have heard him break the glass, and that's fine, but you, you wouldn't have heard him load it up onto a tow truck? So that's the thing. So <laughs> we call the police. The police come. We make a report, and the cop's, like, asking me a bunch of questions. And he's like, okay, so what kind of car is this? And I was like, okay, it's a, you know, Toyota Sienna 2021. He was like, okay. I was like, this has been going on a, a lot, right? Like, I've heard reports of, like, cars being stolen from people's houses. He's like, yeah, but it's, like, higher-end cars. He's like, not normally minivan. <laughs> oh, you got car shamed <laughs> yeah. by the cops. He's by like, the they, cops. what they could do is, like, they could be stealing this for a joyride to go, like, put it in a container or put, or, like, go steal other cars. Picking and up I'm their like, kids from soccer yeah. practice. <laughs> right. That kind of so joyride. I asked him, I was like, oh, okay. okay, so what do I do next? Is this, like, a murder or a cold case where, like, if 34. it's not I said, in the I first said 32. 48 hours? Did you, just, did you actually t tell the cop, is this, like, a murder? Yes. I said, like, what? <laughs> happens because like is this a, if if we don't find it in the next two days is it gone is it in idaho like well, first where? 48 that's what you that's what you said that is exactly what i like said. like a kidnapping and what did they say to you he said no because like with all like the camera technology and stuff like that they should be able to locate it we have the vin number we have the plates etc you gotta put an apple tag on it hey! 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 steven let me see let me take a picture of it this is uh let me take a picture of it oh look at that see it's the yak uh, what the fuck? I can't believe he did it. Man of his word. And he, like, did it without any fuss, anything. No fuss, no muss. No. We're, we're sitting on stage and no one's giving us anything. What are I they need supposed them. to do? Nothing. I love them. Steven, did you forget the apostrophe on your tattoo? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Everyone's replying part? right now being like, what? No apostrophe on <laughs> its, Che? Wait, it's you got no apostrophe. Steven, you got no what are apostrophe. you doing? So it's so so oh, Jake, come back no. up here. Who's the yak is it? Wait, Steven, Wait, are you serious? Then. The word was it's? Yeah. Yeah. He forgot the apostrophe. Oh, no. Is there an apostrophe, Che? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no way. Che. <laughs> the word it's? What is he doing? Who wrote it? Steven. He said the artist didn't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is just spell out it's the yak. Bro, he should have gone to uh, TJ's traditional Japanese, dude. Yeah. Dropped a thousand on it just to get it right. Dude. Oh, no, Steven. Oh. Can we zoom in on Steven's tattoo? There is no place for, no a, place an, for apostrophe. an apostrophe. There's, there's there's look no, at this. Oh. Look at this. Okay. There is no place for an apostrophe. There's no, the apost there's no apostrophes in cursive. Yes, yeah. there. What? what? Yes, there are. Steven, look, he actually. Wait, I wait, think, wait, 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 wait. No, Hold on. I think this tattoo artist was like, it's she so speak fucking. English. She didn't speak English. Yeah, he, no, she, she did. She was like, it's she so fucking funny that he forgot an apostrophe. I'm going to put the T and the S so close to him. There's never be able to fix it. Can do. There's nothing he can do. I'm fine with this. I like it. <laughs> of course he does. Man. You need to get like the blue squiggly line underneath. Do you real like you realize now though? No, I think it, I, th I think it would look weird with an apostrophe. No, it, it would look correct. I'm pretty sure there's no apostrophes in cursive. There's yes. Oh, what does that oh mean? So we'll start out um, by doing the chain game uh, first. It's we're gonna have four choices this time. The very first one is being able to use a handsaw well. Uh, so use being able to this useless skill, being able to use a. Why handsaw. is that not good? When are you ever gonna use that? To cut down a Christmas tree, fake trees are way better. I, I used a saw the other day. <laughs> for what? To cut slats for my bed frame. I just sent a, a tweet. I, I tried to use a saw a couple years ago. Holy shit, that thing. Super hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, it is I one actually, of the most instinctual tools to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so what I didn't realize was like I was trying to like saw like an inch or so off of like wood, like a I don't know, I guess like a hacksaw Jim Duggan like two by four. But uh I was like doing it on my legs, like, oh, like no. sawing out here. <laughs> horrible, horrible technique. You really need you really need like a bench or something like that or something like stable. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. A workbench. What do you Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Stephen Jay, you're like fucking Mitt Romney when he ironed a suit on him and he's like, wow, he's <laughs> this, suit. This, is, this is not an intuitive product. You need like a bench or something that you could iron this on. Like, yeah, no, they exist. We have them. Can I tell can I tell my sheet story? Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, my senior year of college, 2008, went to visit my friend Alex, who went to Richmond. Uh, he was having a little house party at his place. So gets pretty late in the night, maybe like two in the morning. Damn. And some kid who was a freshman, I believe at the time, 
uh, I saw him leaving the party with my friend's perfect push-ups. So I went and I stopped him and I was like, hey, like. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The push-ups wait, wait, those like, are the little the handles yes. that roll? Yes. Yeah, they turn? Yeah, okay. Correct. So I went out and stopped him and I was like, hey, what the hell? That is a strange thing to steal. <laughs> yeah, so and it was, it was very fast. late. So I didn't know who this kid was, but I was like, hey, like, those are probably with the house. You shouldn't take those. My friend, who's enormous, came outside and is he enormous gr- because of the perfect push-up? No, no, no. He's just naturally, he's like 6'5", like 250. He's a big guy. Came out, grabbed him by the collar, took his wallet, and he goes, go to Sheets right now. <laughs> and he was like, bring back four meatball subs within, a- within the hour or I will end you. I'm so praying he t- this. <laughs> he, t- he takes the guy's license and inadvertently takes his wallet too. So the guy gets there, calls my friend. He's like, you took my wallet. Like, I have no way to pay for this. He's like, figure it out. So it gets to be pretty late. It's probably like three thirty at this point. The guy, we're, we're like, how many how many minutes is left? It gets down. We're counting down from like five minutes. With with like thirty seconds left, this guy comes sprinting back. Four meatball subs. Gives me one. Funny story. That's the end of it. Years later, I see on YouTube this guy, little Dicky, puts out a song, and um, the background of the YouTube video is like his resume, and it says he went to Richmond. So I. I sent it to my buddy. I was like, hey, did you, did you know this guy? He was like, dude. He was like, that guy was the guy that stole my perfect, perfect push-ups that delivered the, the <laughs> Little sheets. Dicky. He's like, that's little Dicky. Was, uh, <laughs> little Dicky. Yeah, Dave Burke. That story is, you just sat on that story. Yeah. The, the, we had so much dead time up. on the yak, and you never. Constant. <laughs> but, Stephen, how did you rank Melvin Gordon coming out of college? I would be very interested to hear your analysis of him. I mean, coming out of school, very highly ranked. Uh, you know, obviously a first-round pick. Um, running backs as a position group generally don't go high. Um, but overall, as a player, he was up there positionally. How did you have him? How did you have him ranked? Yeah, I mean, put, answer yeah. the damn question. <laughs> we're, if we're answer factoring in, if we're factoring position, like he's definitely top 25. He went higher than that, which is great. Production certainly out. Stephen Shea. What he did you have Melvin bro. Gordon ranked as coming out of college? Uh, okay, I found the tweet. I found early. the tweet from Stephen that year. He said Melvin Gordon has big time bust potential. <laughs> big, reach, big reach in the yeah. draft there. Really? That's rough. Really? <laughs> no, but he's on, on multiple Steven. teams, multiple contracts. I mean, what did some... you mean? What did you mean specifically by big time bust potential? <laughs> Um, I mean, at the time, certainly you, you got to wonder if a guy's going to pan out or not. Obviously, things worked out very well. Wait, is that real? <laughs> not, not feeling no, it's not a real tweet. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> the way he reacted, the way he reacted was uh, I thought he was real. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even you try that to deny that. He was nervous too, so he, <laughs> he, was. he, he was probably so said nervous. that behind closed doors somewhere. You thought that you tweeted good. that? <clears> that that that's, that was that is a tweet that I would have had at that time. I don't remember <laughs> that was many years ago. You thought you tweeted that. I learned something last week. I have my head buried in, I don't really know what's going on in the world. Somebody told me, maybe you can attest to this, you might be a guy that would know this. Do you know 5G towers are causing cancer? And like, that's well known. <laughs> they just told this to me last week and I was like, what are you talking about? We told you this? Nah, that's just conspiracy theorists say that. Yup. That's not real? No. This is just bullshit. Andre Whitworth. Of course it's Andrew. That is Whitworth. Just retired after winning Just the Super retired. Bowl. Retired on the field after winning the Super Bowl. He broke the news to his kids who held the story. Beautiful. Very well, nice. Well, where were Very they nice. going to take the story? So Jack Young. Nine. Boy. I'm sure they knew how to use computers. <laughs> I'm, down. Pro- I'm probably the only one old enough to have experienced CDs, right? No. no. What? No. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? In this group? I, yes, what I are you so talking about? Che, CDs. Che, I owned a Carlos Santana cassette tape. I had cassettes okay. as well. Yeah. Okay, I thought CDs were pretty much done after like 2005. Well, actually, 15 how old do you think we are? 15 yeah. minutes ago, I just told you I burned CDs with celebrities. I, yeah, we burned CDs honest. all the time. Yeah, no, no, we were, we were yeah, too CD young guys. for music at age 12. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get into music until like high school. My favorite CD of all into time was, music was yeah. uh, "Weathered" <laughs> by Creed. <laughs> Great album. Get the cleaning lady in here. No, no, no. I want to pay the cleaning. Ah, oh, right, you're right, right, right. Double slap. Don't go too hard on my boy. I'm out. Oh, he oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm going to so bad. No. 
Yeah, this show, this show rules. Yeah.